I know many of you have Facebook profiles. How many of you are a administrator for a Facebook page? By show of hands, some of you are. An interesting metric that Facebook uses for pages is people reached and posts engaged. For Niagara, in the last four weeks, the people reached is over 8,000. And the posts engaged, and this makes me more happy, is over 11,000. And really what this is showing, people reached is like connecting. You go to coffee shops, restaurants, and you can connect to the Wi-Fi, your system will, but unless you have the password, then that's useless. Whereas posts engaged is like communing, actually using, in this example, the Wi-Fi. I'm bringing all of this up in appreciation for our community that our focus is not on the quantity, but the quality to engage in all of the knowledge that is being shared. Those who are administrators, you should check out that difference. It's easy to connect. It's more difficult to commune than we are doing that. In the previous verse, chapter one, verse five, more personalities on the Pandava side are being highlighted by Duryodhana to Drona. The previous dialogue, it is Dhritarashtra who's asking what's happening in the battlefield and Sanjay is describing all of this. One of the names we came across, Kunti Bhoja. Kunti Bhoja, I had shared as the biological father of Kunti. He is actually the adopted father. I'm sharing this with you now because there's so many details to each of these personalities. And this is beautiful at one, <coughs> one level. It's almost like Kunti's biological father was a surrogate. Right? That's something that's so prevalent right now, is needed in some circumstances too. And this is less beautiful in some ways because I don't want you to be overwhelmed by these details. Our focus is a little bit of history, a little bit of culture, but mostly philosophy. Duryodhana, he is living by Adharma. This is in his heart. An expression of this is fear. 
we relate to this when we are not acting in a humane way. We know that. And we're afraid of what will happen then. First inside, then outside. He's expressing this as comparing. Comparing what he does not have. We generally do this by becoming extrovert. When we are living in a adharmic way, we go out more, watch more, eat more, talk more. Whereas when we have dharma in our hearts, and this is a aphorism, you can't just define dharma as responsibility. Maybe I'm engaged in my responsibilities miserably. <laughs> then I'm not becoming a better person, correct? Dharma is what is unique to humans. Animals and plants and stones, their dharma is instinctive. Ours is intentional. So when you live in a more humane way, when you evolve, that is dharma. When this is in one's heart, when one lives like this, everything that you want, prosperity, everything you need, peace, will come to you. We continue. Chapter one, verse six. Yuta manyuscha vikranta Uttamau jascha viryavan Saubhadro dropade yascha Sarva eva maharatha More names. Yudha manyu, he is vikranta. He is one that is strong. Uttamau jaha. The word that was used previously is used again. Viryavan is brave. What we are to extrapolate from this first line is that warriors from all over Bharat were involved. Soon I will share the exact details with you in terms of numbers. I feel the numbers are far grander than what you're thinking about the people involved. Then, Saubhadra. Subhadra is the sister of Sri Krishna. And she is married to Prince Arjuna. And their child's name, their son's name is Abhimanyu. One of the greatest. More will be shared. So he's on the Pandava side. Then, Draupadeyaha, the sons of Draupadi. Draupadi has five sons, one with each of the Pandavas. And I'll read their names out to you for your reference, because we rarely come across these details. They are Prativindhya. Shuta Kirti, Shuta Soma, Shatanika, and Shuta Sena. Got it. <laughs> Sarva Eva Maharataha. And they are all ones who can engage more than 10,000 archers. Extremely focused. There is not more philosophy in this verse than what I've shared. For us to register, Duryodhana, again, is not appreciating what he has. He keeps watering the grass of the Pandavas. And soon you will see Duryodhana actually has more numbers on his side, but he's not appreciating that. What is also fascinating in this verse, we know older people are involved in this war, such as Drona, 
We know middle-aged people are involved in this war, like Duryodhana. And uh, for your reference, Prince Arjuna, who is the main student in Bhagavad Gita, he's 85 years old <laughs> when he's learning this. So everyone who's a little bit older and feels, I can't remember, etc., he's 85. <laughs> and there are younger people involved. These are the kids of these main personalities. Inserting more philosophy. If you can distill why you are to live, how you are to live in one sentence, the way this has been done in Vedanta, the science of happiness, it is tat twam asi. Tat means divine. Twam is you, us. Asi is, is. <laughs> So I, we, are divine. This is how we are to live in creation. Wherever you are, whoever you are, as you go about your engagements, to learn to feel that you are divine. And another word for that is independently joyous. Now, in terms of Bhagavad Gita, these three words are spread out over 18 chapters. And the first six chapters are focusing on Dwam. That is you. Chapter one specifically for us to relate to, I think like Kunti Boja. I act like Dhritarashtra. Sometimes I show up as Bhima. When you accept your moha, Moha means confusion. I'm confused about who I am, what I'm supposed to do. I'm confused about the future. This acceptance helps one to appreciate the need for moksha. Moksha is contentment. How long will I live? Just focus on family and community. When will I grow up to live for divinity? But without this acceptance, there will not be an appreciation for the middle six chapters, which is on divinity. The last six chapters that you are divinity. From inspiration to application, your application was to research 18s related to Bhagavad Gita, and many of you have shared. You can read through the chat. Here are some. There are 18 cantos or sections of Mahabharata. The war that is to take place is 18 days. The battalions involved in this war is 18. I'll share those numbers soon. And there are 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita that we will study. That is some history for you. Today is Guruvara. It is a day to remember our teachers. And so your application is, I want you to research Vyasa, Rishi Vyasa. Because I can read all of these names, but all of this has been analyzed and documented by Rishi Vyasa. So you do your research. Tomorrow I will share many details about him. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Be safe, be sound, be serene.